Voices Voix brings together Canadians who are concerned by efforts of the federal government to silence those who oppose its policies. We have documented over 80 such cases. Progressive charities are being intimidated. Here's one of the cases. Like many uh, organizations across Canada that engage in advocacy, and advocacy that rubs against uh, current federal government policy and opinion, uh, Canada Without Poverty uh, had its federal government funding cut uh, several years ago, uh, leaving a pretty huge gap in our budget. Um, I can't remember, it's about a third of our budget uh, that was gone as a result of those cuts. And we are um, pretty much the only national anti-poverty organization with a broad constituency. So for that only entity to lose its funding is pretty significant. Our organization be believes very strongly that to end poverty in this country, we really need a national action plan and a national strategy. And so some of our activities are aimed at having a national action plan put into place. Those activities are deemed political activities and we are now being audited, audited by a CRA, Canada Revenue Agency, um, to, for them to determine whether we're engaged in too many political activities. In other words, are we doing more than 10% of our work on those said political activities? Um, obviously, this has a huge chill on our organization in a number of ways. Um, and it, this isn't just happening to our organization, this is happening right across Canada. So many progressive organizations that are trying to claim human rights for the most disadvantaged communities are facing the same kinds of audits. It has a direct impact on our funding base. Uh, foundations have asked our organization, are you actually under CRA audit at the moment? And um, obviously for some funders that is uh, worrying. And that's really what's at stake here, it's charitable status. So the government is being very clear, they're saying, we don't think everyday people in Canada should receive tax receipts if they are going to give to organizations that are trying to change the law. And that's a pretty huge statement. I, I, I'm not sure how many everyday Canadians know that that's what the government's position is, but it's very, very clear, and certainly within the sector, those of us in the human rights sector um, feel it very clearly. That's what the government is trying to say. In, in my particular case, I have been known to say, and it's true, you know, I am uh, an Arab Canadian feminist working in the area of human rights and more particularly economic, social and cultural rights, anti-poverty. And uh, it, all of those aspects of my identity are under attack right now under the current government at the federal level. And that, I feel it personally. I feel um, sometimes like this country through the government uh, is hostile territory for me. That my opinions, my beliefs, um, my desire to see a Canada without poverty, all of that is um, targeted and uh, not at all accepted or appreciated by our governing uh, powers. I think people in Canada should care about what's happening to organizations like Canada Without Poverty and other similarly situated organizations, but not because of the organi organizations themselves, rather for the work that they're doing. As long as the government wants to close us down, what they're saying, what the government's saying is that they don't want to hear the voices of uh, poor people, for example. And that should be of grave concern. So it, it's not about, oh, should these organizations continue to exist? It's what happens if these organizations are not available to do the good work that they are trying to do? In a way, it's, it's uh, reinforced my perception that ours is a broken country, uh, that ours is not a successful nation. I mean, I've always said, you measure, and it's not me, I took it from um, some of the great thinkers of the world, um, but you know, you measure the success of a nation by how the most disadvantaged people are faring. So in Canada, how are Aboriginal peoples faring? How are poor people faring? How are single mothers faring? 
none of those groups, disabled people, none of them are doing well in this country. And so to me, this country is not a success. We are not a successful nation, and despite our wealth and um, despite our resources. So uh, in that way, I think it, it I feel um, a reinforced resolve uh, that we can make this a better place. Democracy is a very fragile thing. It's like a gift or a gem, and you have to protect it. And if people in Canada aren't aware and don't make themselves aware of what is being dismantled, I think one day they may just wake up and poof, it'll be gone.